Beginning in 1949, Chrysler let some of its executives drive new cars with the odometer disconnected, a practice chalked up to quality assurance before the cars were shipped off to the dealers. Ford and General Motors had similar programs, but in 1973, Congress passed legislation prohibiting any odometer tampering. Ford and GM complied, but Chrysler maintained the practice until June 24, 1987, when the Justice Department slapped Chrysler Corp with a 16-count indictment. It was a result of an eight-month investigation, which zeroed in on an 18-month period between July 1985 and December 1986 finding that Chrysler had cut odometer cables on some 60,000 cars, driving them up to 400 miles before selling them to dealers and customers. Not only that, but some of the vehicles had even been involved in accidents prior to shipment. Chrysler's first reaction was denial, followed by a promise to extend existing warranties. But that wasn't enough to satisfy the courts and Chrysler was eventually forced to mail $500 checks to 32,000 affected customers. But Chrysler's embarrassing chapter wouldn't be the end of odometer fraud. While the company made modifications, like telling customers when a car has been involved in a test program, elsewhere in the country and the world, odometer tampering remains, an issue plaguing thousands of cars and robbing customers of more than a billion dollars every year.